Professional parallel bars can cost between two and six thousand dollars. But you can build parallel bars that are ideal for practicing at home using PVC pipe for between two hundred dollars and three hundred dollars. Hi, my name is Justin. I want to show you how we make a set of parallel bars using PVC pipe. First of all, there are two sections on each side to give them strength and stability. Second, there's the bars that determine the length. You can make these bars anywhere from seven to nine feet. Seven feet gives an inner swing area of five feet, and a nine foot length gives you an inner area of seven feet. So what pieces do you need? You can see from the part list there are various pieces which include 90 degrees elbows, T's, Y's, the pipes have an inner diameter of one inch and one and a quarter inch. Depending on how long your span of parallel bars, you will need eight to 10 pipes that are 10 feet long and one and a quarter inch thick. And you will also need two to three PVC pipes that are 10 feet long and one inch thick. If you are making seven foot lengths, which gives you five feet of swinging room, you'll need a one inch pipe inside the one and a quarter inch pipe to provide extra support for the span. If you are making anything greater than a seven foot length, we suggest adding a mop handle inside the one inch pipe, which is still inside the one and a quarter inch pipe. You'll need more than one length of the mop handle. Put the longest part in the middle and two shorter pieces on either end so that the middle has the ideal reinforcement of one solid piece. Here's some videos of us assembling the end pieces. Here's the video of us assembling the parallel bars. We used bolts, nuts, and sometimes wing nuts. On sections where we knew we'd end up taking it apart or for storage or to give it mobility to take it somewhere else. All of the pieces are glued, but we wanted to take it in and out of the house. And we designed it so the two sections on each end can be separated and the bars on top and bottom can be pulled out. It's best to mark where the pipes line up so then when you reassemble it later, you know which pipe goes where and how to align the holes easier. We use sports tape to wrap up the top two bars and give it better grip. When you're done, you'll end up with something that you can use for practice and to build strength. Check out our Quad Squad channel for other videos. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching my video. Bye.